Breaking news, Hasbro did it again. So today for our Beyblade show, I'm very surprised to break this news. We have images for the Wave 2 starters. So very interesting for this selection. We'll get to that in a second. It looks promising. So we have an image right there. We're going to go over everything and explain it the best we can. So as you can see, Archer Hercules H4. Now it seems for the slingshot gimmick for this, it's going to be like a revolve where it's a little tab thing. You got to roll it to the side. I don't think it's the push inserts. I can't really tell. I don't know if actually if the performance tips material is just pure plastic or if it's actually what it is. What was it uh, with the uh, poem? I'm pretty sure. The lair looks like it has the exact same gimmick as it previously did, and other than a few stickers that are missing, I, this looks promising. Actually, the Metal Forager Hercules is uh, pretty good. This is like, a, I would say, a favorite for a lot of bladers just to pick it up. It's pretty decent. So that's how the bay looks. Good job, Hasbro. Now, hopefully, as the record has moved on from the Wave 1 starters, it wasn't really that good, but the singles and everything else, pretty good for the slopes and how much it actually slides. So if Wave 2 starters are better than the Wave 1 for how much it actually slides, that's super good, especially for this bay in particular. Next one, Typhoon T4. Now, this is 4 with Defense Slingshock, and this is a Hasbro exclusive. What this means is that Takaratami does their base, but Hasbro, because maybe there's a few small things that they can't do to give us some nice exclusive base. This one, very interesting. It seems to sort of be like a cha like a mix-up of Gion G4, in a way, with the shape, I guess. Now, this actually has compatibility with a level chip, from what I can see, so that's actually really, really good. Looks, I like the design for this. It looks cool. Now, the, the trend with these exclusive bays is that the layers are pretty decent. Hopefully, it's the same with this. I like it. And you can see it has like the sort of the snakes around and sort of like a devil face in the middle. Uh, it's more of a snake and a devil face in the middle, actually. Mix of purple, I guess, for the venom of the snake, maybe. Like, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What does that have to do with an actual typhoon? <laughs> but uh, next one. Sphinx S4. I love the design for this. Just like, let's admire it for a second. So, usually the parts for these exclusives aren't never really new in terms of the forged disc and the performance tip, but the lair looks amazing. It's an, it sort of reminded me of Amaterius in a way. Actually, you want to know what? I do think with a lot of these designs, it might have been early prototypes for what the base should have been. They pick up on that, they modify it a bit, and you get that. Sick. Absolutely sick. I love it. I love, you wanna know what? For as much stuff as we have to give Turbo, a lot of this stuff is hype. I'm gonna be honest, like, I like this. Amazing. And compatibility with level chip. Of course, we have to see when they're actually going to release that as like, you know, we can use the TT ones, but I want to see when they're actually going to do an official one. And I'll get to the reason why they're doing uh, the releases like this. Next one, which is fan favorite for me anyways, out of the four, Heat Salamander S412 Operate. Now, it's very skeptical because the app can't show everything for it. But look, the layer looks like you can go from the five bladed mode and the 10 bladed mode. So the bay at first has 10 bladed, but then if you can combine the blades and make it uh, five, it looks like you can switch it. If it was melted, this is the point I'm gonna make. I have to get off the chair just to like look at the image just to confirm. Yeah, look, when you're seeing the actual layer, and we'll get to the bay in a second, you'll notice it's not melded together. So that tells me we're gonna have both of those modes right there. And operate, well, yeah, it's not transparent. whoop de doo I don't really care all that much. Switch Strike was on the label, and that tells me possibly now getting an actual product image that maybe Operate 
You can switch it from uh, attack mode where it's sort of like quaking in defense mode, but it looks like you can actually extend the tip. You can see that little flat part there to actually make it two kind of attack modes. So I guess really aggressive attack and regular attack from what I'm able to see. The layer right there looks amazing. Like, wow, two stickers missing on that one. I have to mention that because a lot of comments say I'm not putting on everything. So if we want to nitpick there, but amazing. I'm hoping that with the trend of how turbo has moved on that slopes are good doesn't slide as much and the gimmicks are fun hercules i, I hope the performance tips of what it's actually supposed to be in terms of the actual material but uh how they're doing this because the lunar cup is going on i'm pretty sure i'm not caught up with uh, the dub yet at least what's going on here in teletoon they're releasing the base based on what's actually happening so the two packs, which aren't confirmed, uh, we don't have images of it actually, but it's supposed to be Leopard and Phoenix, because that's what follows after the Lunar Cup. So that's my guess. That's my guess, because look, Salamander and Hercules were the only new bays I'm pretty sure introduced in that Lunar Cup. After Lunar Cup, you go into the next one, the next tournament, and that's where you get Phoenix and Leopard introduced. So kind of makes sense to go hand in hand. Now, what I'm guessing, we're going to see the starters first and the two packs a little, a little later, a little later, because they have to try to go with the flow of the anime. And that leads me to believe Achilles A4RD, is that what it's called? And uh, the Fafnir two pack are going to be released for wave three. And that means the other ones that we know about, which I don't want to go too much into spoilers, uh, most likely I would say maybe four to five. So very interesting the lineup for this. I think personally, these bays do not look like they have any melded together, any real screw ups, only Hercules and maybe Salamander for the performance tip. But for right now, I think it looks good, but not even that too. We collab with Cypress, right? And we were actually able to show gameplay on most of this stuff. So usually every Friday we should already have a Hercules and Salamander gameplay done so you can check that out by scrolling through our channel but you the commenter I want to know what are your thoughts on these bays for the exclusives and for the starter or for the other the main bays that we're going to see in the anime but that's kind of it I'm excited hashtag Hasbro Turbo in the comment section below and also you can make another comment for which bay you're most hyped for so you can do hashtag Hercules hashtag Salamander hashtag Sphinx hashtag Typhoon on which bay you're really hyped for but for now have an awesome day